All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka that Reiner, and today we're back to finish out the Evil Within, our supernatural arc, if you will. Last go around, uh, we uh, worked with Finn Balor, which was cool. He was trying to just get us all sorted out, and ultimately, well, he kind of fell into line with us. Same thing with the Beacon, uh, which was Natalia, Katana Chance, and Nikita Lyons. Um, and, uh, yeah, we had all kinds of little side missions, too. We had more side missions in this one than I feel like we had in the last storyline with the Hollywood stuff, but that one was also shorter, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. So this episode, like I said at the end of the last episode, we're going to tackle Be Careful What You Wish For to finish out the evil within. Then I think we're going to tackle Evil is Pain after that, which is the side story that goes back to where we go to for the second tab over here. And then we will start the Rhea Ripley stuff. So this is my brutality. So that's kind of the goal. We'll tackle, be careful what you wish for. Evil is pain. And then probably this is why brutality all in one episode. That's kind of what I'm hoping for anyway. So that way we can kind of get going on this last little chunk here before we ultimately start making more decisions and that sort of thing. So uh, as per usual, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy. Let's talk to this idiot over here named Troy. Really, what? uh... Interesting place you've got here, huh? Call All me. we're missing is the pizza. What do you want? Oh, well, uh, the team just wanted to see if there was anything in particular you wanted. You know, figured it was a good idea to keep you happy. Only because that keeps us happy. We are definitely not wanting anything in return. <laughs> sure, Troy. <laughs> anything you'd like added to catering? Anything to spruce up your, um, layer here? A particular opponent you'd like to face? I want a sacrifice. Now is not the time. Bring me a sacrifice. Oh my Excuse god. Excuse me? Any opponent who faces me is doomed. A sacrifice. Oh, okay. <laughs> a sacrifice. Got it. <laughs> okay. I'll set it up. Sure, Troy. Oh my god, look at how much crap that we're getting out of this at the very end. So we have 20 upgrade points, an Asuka card. I'm guessing Asuka could be the last opponent for us. I don't know. Uh, but I think this is where we get the manifestation stuff too, but darkness of self outfits, the evil within entrance, and then a mystery reward. So we're going to see what happens. You're about to enter a story gate. Playing will advance the story, and you'll be unable to return to play any optional storylines you may have not completed. Are you sure you want to continue? I am absolutely positive. Let's let's finish this mess. Alrighty, we have Nikki Cross as our sacrifice. Okay, execute three combos on Nikki Cross. Okay, we got three. Or right, we got three, sort of. Well, we're on our way to three. We hit a few strikes on her. Okay, we got two combos out of three. We got three combos on Nikki now, too. Soul Siphon Nikki Cross. Oh, wait, how do I do that? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Guess we're gonna have to get all that built back up again because I'm a dummy. I know that you could toggle it, but I didn't realize that you could until, well, like, it was too late. It was one of those immediate regret things. I swear, th this character could be the only thing that maybe, like, goes after Roman Reigns and gets the title at this point. Okay, Soul Siphoning. No, that's not what we want. Oh, <sighs> okay. We got to figure this out. Well, my problem is that I keep pressing the hold button and all these different things. Okay, well, they keep wanting me to do all the comeback stuff first. Which I guess makes sense. See what I mean? Like, what is this? Like, we've clearly got the soul siphon. I 
I'm wondering if this is all glitched out. <laughs> I'm thinking it is glitched out. See? It keeps doing it. This is very annoying. It says to hold the right trigger and press the Y button when our meter is full, and that's exactly what I'm doing, and I keep getting the comeback. Okay, maybe that got rid of it. I don't know. I'm hoping so. Nope, it did not. Oh, I hate it here. Please, let me just get rid of the soul siphon thing. That'd be great. Perfect. Okay, well at least we hit our finisher on Nikki. I know that it's like we might be jumping around a little bit, potentially. I don't know. I'll have to, uh... Oh, there we go. We finally did it. Took us a few times there. Well, that works. <laughs> Surprised we didn't get a rope break right here. Again, it took us a few tries to get it, but we ultimately got it. Right, right. Here is your winner, Christine what a mess. Great match, Christina Bennett, but were you missing something? Something shiny and powerful? Give back the amulet. I told you I'd be watching. I figured it out and I want the power. I proved in my last match I don't need the amulet to harness the power, but I'm still getting back what's my- Maybe that's why we were struggling. Oh, there's Asuka. Oh, we got dramatic music in the background. Oh, there we are. Okay, we gotta take care of Asuka backstage. Okay, do we have any objectives? Okay, punish Asuka with a heavy grapple. I don't know if that was a heavy grapple or not. Oh, okay. I, I will not apologize. I had to uh, actually check the, uh, the little objective thing, because I forgot. <laughs> I just, that can't be sanitary, though. Like, just walking around like that, like, in, in bare feet, like, ugh. I hope we're at least showering wherever we're at. <laughs> Even the supernatural need to be squeaky clean. But I think it's cool that we're going to Asuka for this kind of final, final thing. Lure Asuka to the right of the equipment boxes. I think that's the equipment boxes. Okay, so I checked the objective and it says the restricted area. So now we might finally have some answers as to what this restricted area actually looks like. Possibly. Well, we have to lure Asuka over this way. I'm like, I know that the boxes are all there. I just didn't know where necessarily, and that's okay. Here we go. It's like a cinematic movie almost. Oh god, what's happening here? This is so dramatic! Look at the camera angles! Oh! It turned on us! Wait, did it just destroy itself? What happened? That would be a great thumbnail right there. <laughs> that would be a great thumbnail! Guess it wasn't really yours, Christina Bennett. The power in the amulet wants to belong to both of us, and I didn't need its container anymore. The power is mine, not yours. I will get it back and use it to destroy you. We think that was a challenge. Let's do the thing. Please don't hurt us. Christina Bennett faces Asuka tonight on Raw. I feel darkness inside. Can't wait to show the WWE Universe what it looks like when I let it take over. This could get good. I need to talk to you. After the match. It's important. After the match. Ooh, Asuka's looking a little different here. Asuka. 
Asuka's got a little bit of darkness in her from what it looks like. This could get interesting. We both got a little bit of darkness in us. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe we all have a little bit of darkness in us, but we need to learn how to contain it and control it. This works for me. This definitely works for me. I'm excited to see what happens. All right, here we go. We got Christina Bennett and Asuka. Let loose on Asuka. Let's let loose. Again, I know we kind of jumped through the entrances a little bit. I feel like, again, with entrances, you kind of see it like... Now, you see things once, and then it's like, oh, okay. Unless it's like a build-up to the... Uh, unless it's the entrance, of course, to like the final match or something of something. We're kind of going to breeze through a good portion of it. Or unless it's like a special situation, like in this case, right? Right. Okay, we let loose on Asuka. Strike Asuka in the ring. Oh, she blocked us. Attempted strike here, but Asuka counters with the spin kick. She's invoking the Soul Siphon. If Cap's got her in grasp, there's no hope for Asuka now. Wait, is Asuka trying to fight it? Asuka's doing more than fighting it. She's using the same power against her. Is this really happening? Get on board, Saxon. The real question is, who's more powerful? And Asuka's down. Asuka was foolish to try something that Cap has already perfected. Does that even count as a pin? She's not even touching Asuka. She's controlling the referee. I guess it counted because it's over. You know that's not the spirit of the rule? Neither is floating an opponent during a match. Michael, back me up here. Guys, when you've been around here as long as I have, you learn not to question these things. <laughs> I mean, oh. Well, we're both down now. Oh. Is this even something medical can happen with? If I were them, I'd stay far away from whatever's happening. Well, we faded to black. So there must be something more powerful. Maybe Alexa was trying to warn us about it. What just happened? Standing by for, it, for updates on Christina Bennett and Asuka. It was like something from a movie. This is why you don't mess with creepy stuff. Oh, we're back to our normal form. We're back to our normal form. Look at that. Look who decided to wake up. Oh my god. Where am I? Trainer's room. You passed out in the ring. I don't understand. I defeated Asuka. All of the amulet's power that escaped should have come back to me. That's what I was trying to tell you. The amulet didn't disappear because its power was going to you and Asuka. It disappeared because you both had fed it enough to unleash the creature. Oh no. What? That's where the power is now. Haven't you noticed? I have felt a bit weaker lately. You were only a vessel. A way for the creature to rebuild its strength until it was ready to break free. Now? You know how sometimes people have to fight their metaphorical demons in this business? I think this time, you might have to fight yours. Literally. Finn, where are you Notice at? <laughs> if you can. I'm ready. I actually feel more like myself than I have in a long time. I hope so. I don't think you'll have all the powers you've been using lately to take this on. You'll need to draw on everything else you've got inside you to defeat the darkness you unleashed. Tonight, Christina Bennett takes on Chex Notes. Huh, that can't be right. Oh boy. Okay, please tell me we're kind of back to normal. Okay, we're back to normal. Yo, I'm actually kind of glad that we're going to be wrapping up the supernatural stuff moving ahead. But this is going to get interesting. I'm going to see, like, maybe, you know, what we can do to kind of add to our supernatural vibe. Or, you know, maybe that's the piece of us that we're missing. Like I've been kind of saying, we need to confront our darkness, if you will. Or our demons. What in the world? Oh my god. What is happening? Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks like the one character. Like the the Winter King from Game of Thrones a little bit, right? Something and like that. From the other side of King of the Dead, there we go. I think. No, that wasn't it. What was it called? The King of Winter from Game of Thrones? The Winter King. 
the king of the north, something like that. We're, we're trying. The Night King. I'm like, it's some sort of winter Night King. It's like, Christina, did you just watch it? And it's like, yes, I did. Just I finally finished up Game of Thrones back in January. Right now I'm working on The Sopranos. I'm like almost halfway through The Sopranos right now. So, <laughs> listen, I've been utilizing that like nice snoogity like $2.99 like Black Friday discount on HBO Max. Or just Max rather now. This definitely gives me Night King vibes. <laughs> It's like, Christina, what are you going on about? It's like, God, we're talking about Game of Thrones, Doctor Who, like, all in just one story. Well, not one big story, but you get the point. I feel like this needs to end, like, at SummerSlam or something. Or whatever the next- maybe Survivor Series would actually be kind of fitting, now that I'm thinking about it. Wait, does that mean that the Manifestation has all the other people that we- collected souls from. Oh, it's all dark. Vanquish the manifestation by any means necessary. I, I hope we can do it. I do like the green. Maybe we sprinkle in some green within our gear or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's a sign. It's a little piece of us that can come with us. The entrance we can flare up a little bit. We can add some green into our gear. As much as I really do like this gold that we got going on. We'll keep the gold and we'll add in the green. There we go. It's like I sincerely apologize to everybody during the storyline. This has been a mess. But god, we have the Night King here. I was expecting this final boss battle to be, like, much more, like, final bossy. I don't know how else to word it. But I mean, hey, we finally got to the manifestation, right? We, we need to add in a little bit more juice here. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to be so screwed against the Manifestation. Maybe that's the mystery award, is the Manifestation. I know the achievement's in there. I know after this, this is like the achievement, I think. Oh, we countered, though. I thought we countered it. Well, maybe if it wasn't so dark, then I might be able to see where we're at. <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll at least be able to finish this, maybe? And then maybe the little side story that comes with everything. But if not, that's okay, too. We'll see where things kind of go uh, from this point. I, I do suspect there's going to be a little bit more to it. Probably a final match with Alexa. I don't know. Maybe Alexa you know, is behind the final manifestation here. For all we know, that could be the case. And then we go on to uh, Rhea Ripley and all the shenanigans over there. That'll be so awkward. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're, we're, we're taking it to the manifestation here. Am I actually, like, why was I trying to, like, not strike the opponent? I'm all confused. I, I kind of see her as, like, maybe a really good actress at this point, you know? Like, what if this was all acting? We were just really good at it. <laughs> well, we don't really know what that was, but it's over. It's looking not only a victory, but the beginning of a new chapter for the cap, and maybe the end of an old one. That was a different woman in the ring than we've seen the past few weeks. Oh no, it went dark again. What now? It's gone! And I thought I had no clue what was going on before. You know what? I give up! <laughs> Something's coming out from under the ring. Right? Well, that was certainly something. 
Oh boy. I, I, what's happening after this? What does this all mean? Oh, well that means we get an achievement at least. <laughs> Manifest Destiny. <laughs> Defeat the Manifestation. So it just ends like that. Wow. Okay, so we have the My Rise Manifestation, My Faction Reward, the Asuka My Rise card, Darkness of Self Outfit for both the men and women, and then the Evil Within Motion for the entrances. Now, like I said before, okay, I want to see the social media stuff. Hey, if you're done being evil now, can you finally call me back? <laughs> Congratulations on vanquishing your demon. Just be careful. When it comes to these things, what's past is never gone. Oh, no. Okay, so we have some attribute points. So we have 41 of these things. Um, I suspect, uh, let's go ahead and add uh, one more to submission because we have a submission move. We're at 95 overall. We still got quite a bit of points left. Uh, and so we have Regal, we have Rhea, and we have Mick Foley once again. Again, I kind of called it where it was like the faces of Foley type deal. So uh, this is probably going to have to do something with Mankind, I'm guessing, based on how the trajectory is going. And then we'll go over to this is my brutality. Then we'll circle back over here to take it to the streets once we're done with everything in this story. And then go over here because that's where the ultimate portal is over here. So that's kind of where everything's going. So we're going to go chit chat with Mick Foley over here before we go over to our final section. Now that you've crawled through the darkness, you finally see the light? I hope so. Good to see you again, Mick. Sometimes I'm Mick. But other times, I'm just known as mankind. And after what you've just gone through, I'm guessing you'd like someone around who knows a little something about what you've experienced. The three faces of Bennett. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's too many of us, that's for sure. Right? You were taking souls. But what mankind would take was punishment. I lived for it. The more abuse there was, the stronger I became. How much could you take, Cap? Okay, if we were taking souls, why didn't we consult with the Undertaker at any given point? <laughs> I'm just saying that might have been our only hope at this point. I could take all of it. Then you need to test your limits. In the match that made mankind legendary, hell in a cell. And I've got just the opponent and a little bit of my pixie dust to make it feel extra special. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm nervous. I think that's exactly what I need to put this all behind me. Let's go to hell. Let's go. Pain, evil is pain. Max upgrade points 12. Let's do it, people. Ooh, we're actually going to hell in a cell. Well, we'll let the entrance go a little bit for this, because ours is a very quick entrance. The following contest is a hell. I really need to fix the entrance. Cell. Making her way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, Christina Bennett. Everything is fine. Everything is just fine. Oh, this this is great. This is actually pretty great. I want to see who her opponent is too. Now that I'm like thinking about it. Oh, okay, we're going up against China. This this could get interesting. This could get very interesting. And from Redondo Beach, California, the ninth wonder of the world, China! Oh, boy. We're going up against China in, in Hell in a Cell. This, this is going to pick up very quickly, I think. Oh, man, this is going to be good. This, this is going to get very interesting. I'm excited to see, uh, our, I, I don't know if I had this as our first Hell in a Cell match, but we're going along with it. But I like how everything kind of builds on each other in a way. So, you know, by the time that we get to Rhea, it's like we've already sort of gotten the worst out of the way. We made our name in Hollywood. We channeled that energy into the supernatural shenanigans. And so now maybe we try to harness that into a new channel and try to be a little bit more well-rounded. If we have a jump cut at any given point, um, then uh, 
We will uh, actually, um, if there's a jump cut, we've got a uh, second recording about to take place. So that means we might be able to get a jump start on the next storyline because all we have to do is defeat China. That should be pretty, pretty decent for us. All right, Bennett with the counter right there. Bennett with the knee drop right there as well. I know that with like each thing that we go into, uh, we get a different entrance, which is why I'm not really focused on the entrance so much right now, right? Because we need to get through the next little section of stories, and it's still very early on in my day. So, I mean, I'm going to be here playing through. I, this is going to be one of those cases where I could just very well, very well, I could very well finish this thing tonight, maybe, if I push through it. But again, that's because I'm on easy mode, right? Like, that's just how these things kind of go. And then maybe starting to get into men's my rise territory. I need to create the person for the men's my rise, which again we'll be sprinkling these videos out uh, throughout March. I don't have a I, I don't have a set schedule for these, so keep keep that in mind because it all depends on how quickly I can get the men's my rise character sort of roughly there. Right? Like, at some point, we're gonna actually, you know... Alright, China. We just wanna jump. Give me a second here. Alrighty, bit of a jump cut. Oh, we missed it right there. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we got a new recording all set up, which is great. Uh, if we beat China in swift fashion like I know we can do, then we will ultimately be on our way to the next story. Which is very exciting. Again, why is the referee's butt right there? <laughs> These camera angles aren't great. But we did it, people. Again, like the last time. Every time I set a new recording and have to switch to a new recording, it's almost like, all right, let's move, let's move forward. Let's move onward and upward. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're starting the Rhea stuff very soon, which is very exciting. So uh, let's get to it, people. Let's see what is next in our land of adventures. Alright, evil is ping completed. We got 12 upgrade points. So, we got social media over here. Did that hurt, Christina Bennett? Seriously, did that hurt? <laughs> Alrighty, attribute upgrade points. We got 30 points. So, again, I think let's go ahead and add this to either defense or submission. I'm thinking submission to try to max that one out soon. Uh, we're at 95 overall. We still have a few points in defense, a few points for aerial and running, and a few points in grappling left. So we're getting close to starting to max out everything, but we are on to the Rhea Ripley story, and again, kind of giving us a little bit of an idea of where we're at. We have this is brutality, then once we're done with that, we're going to be going to take it to the streets once we're through with everything in that arc, and then we have to go over here. So we've completed everything thus far across the board, which is kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Let's go ahead and chit-chat with Rhea. What are you looking at? You. I'm looking at you, Rhea. Is there a problem? You tell me. What do you want? I want you to show me how to harness brutality in the ring. You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. Did you just see what we just went through? <laughs> okay, maybe that's true. Explain it to me, then. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. Wasn't that what we just did with all the supernatural things? That. I want to do that. I want you to show me how to harness brutality. What? Do I have a sign that says free <laughs> lessons or something? I can't help you. You can help yourself, though. Provided you're not too weak. Didn't we just see... Not I was gonna say, weak. didn't you just see what we just then did? some chaos. And do it somewhere unexpected. Hmm. Maybe a different brand, then. Sure. Show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card. But I'm not going to hold your hand. Who we didn't ask you to. Out? All right, Zaylee and Indy Hartwell, or Chelsea Green and Zelina Vega. Let's go for Chelsea and Zelina. Feeling like Chelsea Green and Zelina Vega could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. Perfect. All right, this is my brutality. Let's go to it, people. 
Wait, are we taking them both on? Well, this is one way to debut on SmackDown, right? Well, I mean, I have been saying that I want to go to SmackDown or NXT for a bit. I just didn't imagine it going down like this. Oh boy, here we go, people. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Oh man. This is going to be interesting. Again, I haven't been really updating anything else for our attire or entrance or anything like that because we get everything, like, with these little character arcs that we're going through. So it, it all kind of works. Okay, so we have a triple threat match. Okay, that's fine. Attack Chelsea with a chair. Attack Selena with a kendo stick. Okay, so let's go get a chair. Oh, come, no, go outside the ring. This is the one time I want you outside the ring. Okay. Let's go with a kendo stick. That works with us. Okay, so we need to hit Zelina with the kendo stick. Perfect. This is exactly the energy that we need. So this is basically embracing our hardcore side. In a way, right? Okay, so we need to go and get a chair next and go after Chelsea with the chair. That works with me. All right, Chelsea, our former assistant. Win the impromptu triple threat match. Okay, well, that works. All right, I think we're going to be able to get to uh, Chelsea first, potentially, but we'll see. This has been such a mess. Okay, Zelina, what are we getting? Oh, she's got it! She's got the flip-flop. I love that. That's amazing. All right. All right, Chelsea. That, that's enough. That's enough from you. Yeah, that's okay. You two can fight it out in there. I will be getting some uh, stamina back. Can I use this? Oh, perfect. I can use that. I love that for us. I like how we can use our foot and then have the weapon in our hand. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I thought we were going to hit Chelsea with that. Oh, that would have been amazing. Okay, sneaky roll up, sneaky roll up, sneaky roll up for the win, for the win, pin for the win. Nope. Chelsea, seriously? Okay, I don't know what that was, but that was something. Okay. Well, Zelina just whiffed it, so that's that's fine. Ref count! These refs are so slow. Oh, boy. Nope. Oh, nice, nice counter there. Well, hey, at least we get a little bit of a field trip to another show, so that's nice. We'll probably get something with Sally in this whole angle, too, right? Because we have to complete those four optional Sally stories. We've gotten to three out of the four. So, hopefully that's the case. Oh no, counter from Chelsea. Oh, we were late. Okay, thanks, Selena. I appreciate it. Okay, go for the cover on Zelina. <laughs> what? There's no rope break and a triple threat! Oh, that's so stupid. Since when was there a rope break and a triple threat match? Seriously, I hate it here. Okay, we gotta go for Chelsea, like, right after. Okay, we gotta go to Zelina. Go, 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 go. Seriously, my god, these referees are so slow. <laughs> Look at this! I mean it, really. All right, Chelsea. 
We're, we're making you tap out then. Oh, Selena's back in so fast! My god! Everybody just doesn't sell anything, apparently. <laughs> I mean, I get it's a video game, but my god. Whatever that was. I'm so focused right now. I'm sorry, people. Well, Chelsea just countered our finisher. If this is the only bit they were able to get to in this video, that's okay with me, because we've accomplished a lot. Seriously? I was trying to go for a sneaky roll-up. Okay, but she just went after the referee. That wasn't cool. Oh my god, we are getting nowhere with this match. I have so many problems with the referee in, in 2K24 already. And again, we're filming this like a while ago. Just to give some context here. I, do I have to win? I have to win. Can I? Why can't I just springboard back into action here? The one time I was just relieved that the referee took their good old time. The one time! Wait, Selena's getting back up. Crap. God, I hate triple threads. Have I said that enough? I don't think I have. Get everybody get out of here! Seriously? Oh my god, this is getting on my last nerve, people. <sighs> Can everybody just stay outside the ring? I'd appreciate that. Oh, please, come on, Sneaky Roll-Up. Don't let me down, Sneaky Roll-Up. Do not let me down, Sneaky Roll-Up. Sneaky Roll-Up never lets me down. Thank you, Sneaky Roll-Up. We, we appreciate you. That was great. That was great. That, that was lovely. Oh, God. Okay, well, let's see how uh, things progress from this point. Again, I, we're just, we're done. <laughs> we're in that match. Just, the referees get on my nerves at this point. Whoa, didn't expect you to see... Whoa, didn't expect to see you on SmackDown tonight. And where did all that extra aggression come from? You don't think I normally have that? I mean, you do, but it seemed different. Kind of scary. Should I be afraid of you? Trying something new. And maybe. Excuse me, Christina Bennett. That was not okay. And I will be taking up your intrusion with management. Oh, God, Chelsea. All right, well, we got Rhea Ripley to chit-chat, too. Okay. So you can at least pretend to have what it takes. Although, maybe it was a one-off. Oh, God. Don't put us into another triple threat match. It wasn't a one-off. I'm not pretending. Why are you here? I like watching people flounder. It's fun. And I'm not convinced. Who hurt you anyway? What? No. Seriously? Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing, but my brutality has a message. Every time I step into the ring, I'm making a statement to the world that there are no limits to what I'll do to get what I want. Troy. Troy hurt us with all of his awful creative ideas. <laughs> so next time you step in the ring, consider what you're fighting for. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned. And who you're going after to make your point. Who I'm going after? For instance... Do you want to challenge the toughest of the tough, or pick someone who may be very talented, but is also more innocent? That's what I'm talking about. Targeted brutality. Rhea might be onto something here. Challenge the tough, challenge the innocent. I, I, we're here for the toughness. I'm making a statement. I can out-brutalize the most vicious opponents. I'm demanding a match with Shayna Baszler. I mean, we already beat her once, but that's okay. Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're going to be associated with me, I knew you better it. look the part. So, we're associated now? 
Shut up. <laughs> Just announced after her surprise appearance on SmackDown, Christina Bennett turns her newfound brutality to Shayna Baszler on the next Raw. I want to see if we get new gear or not. I mean, she did say that we were getting new gear, right? Okay, cool. We have a vest. Okay. We, we might be onto something. I'm, I'm digging the vest a little bit. Could be a little different. I'm liking the gloves. I, okay, I guess we've got the black and purple going for us, but... I mean, hey, this, this could be a little bit interesting, right? Right? It's a different look. Not entirely a fan of it, but, you know, we take pieces and parts of everything. Alright, we got Christina Bennett versus Shayna Baszler. Irish whip Shayna Baszler into a ringside barricade. Oh, boy. This can get interesting. Again, I think we're just taking pieces and parts of what we learn from each, like, journey and making it into our own journey. Right? This is going to be one of those where the story doesn't get started until the very end, and then I got to go in and write the story. <laughs> Irish whip Shayna into a ringside barricade. Okay, well, we're not quite there yet, but we're almost there. Okay, we did it. Okay, taunt Shayna Baszler. Once we once we get this uh, taken care of. Okay, I don't think that's it. Okay, I think we did it. Yep, there we go. Hit Shayna with your finisher outside the ring. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. Well, I need to get a finisher first. So as soon as we get a finisher, then we'll... Then we'll go back outside the ring, which I think is reasonable at this point, right? Like, it's not like we're going to get the finisher right away or anything. Again, I like the striker just, you know, across the board with all these characters because it kind of works out a little bit. Because I think, you know, as much as an indie darling as she might have been, I, I suspect that, like, maybe she even changed up her style, like, in ring once she got to WWE. That's the vibe I'm getting, because, like, you know, obviously maybe she was used to having crazy hardcore matches, maybe, you know, technical masterpieces. We don't know much about her time before WWE. And it's like, do we need, like, a prequel before everything? Like, that'd be great. Can we get that as, like, DLC or something? I don't know. Somebody get the sequel going. <laughs> See so if we can start our journey. Okay, we gotta wait for Shayna to get back inside the ring. There we go. Beautiful kick right there. Okay, well, I don't know what that was. Seriously? Okay, well, we're still close to a finisher, so I'll take that as a win. Nice knee drop right there from uh, Christina Bennett to uh, Shayna Baszler. My brain just went kaput for a second. Probably just a sign of, like, I need to make food. <laughs> If we're being 100% real, right, right. Alrighty, nice uh, knee drop right there to the outside of the ring. We need to make sure that we are uh, getting Christina Bennett's finisher and also making sure that Shayna is in that stunned thing like that. There we go. Well, I mean, this works out well. Pin Shayna in the ring. So we gotta bring Shayna back inside the ring right here and then go in for the cover. Going for the pin on Shayna. Wait, what is she doing? We're trying to send a message here. Looks like Cap decided she still has a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. Guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair? What's gotten into her? Oh, we just threw it at the referee. A show of force for sure, but not like this. What are we doing? Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Or not. Nope, never mind. Well, we lost the match, but I think we're sending a statement. 
Well, the match is over, but not the way we expected. Shayna may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more for her, from her soon, Saxton. Hopefully so. So this is our big heel turn, I think, right? <laughs> Possibly. I don't know, but I'm intrigued. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here. In the locker room and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. No I kidding. Have smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Shayna Baszler in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle. When I heard the sound her body made, when I let it drop limp on the mat before I grabbed the steel chair, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. Blame WWE management. Let's just, uh, oh boy. Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and pledge allegiance to WWE management and a WWE machine that couldn't care less about me. Hopefully we don't get future endeavor. By profit and not people who ask everything of us and then discard us like used candy wrappers when we don't act like they're chimpanzees and obey their every passing whim. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking and I'm not only done following blindly, I'm going to do everything in my power to tear apart the system by destroying every superstar on the roster who gets in my way. That was some performance. You were right. And I meant what I said. The more I gave into my anger in the ring, the more I pushed away the excuses I was making for the people in charge around here. Oh, boy. Sure. Whatever. I still don't believe you. I don't either, Rhea. Are you trying to get on my bad side? It's like every time she gets into this new, like, persona, she goes, like, 1,000% into it. And I like that about her, and I don't like that about her. Like, I like this kind of brutal ruthlessness, kind of rebel -y side that we got of her. What if we just kind of brought together this with Hollywood Bennett and have something kind of interesting? If you even have one. I'm just not terribly impressed. You may have chosen your opponents and found your anger, but so far, they've all been random. You know what they say. The best tasting livestock are the ones that you've named. Fair enough. I'm not taking this from you, Rhea. I don't care what you think. But you want to see brutality? Come with me to NXT. Because you know what? Despite what you say, you're here talking to me again. I think you want in. Whatever. We'll see how you do at NXT. Alrighty, so we've got uh, some DMs and some social media feeds. So, well, that was a statement. Over here, huh? I'm usually the one blaming WWE management, Christina Bennett. We're to be on the other side of it now. <laughs> Accurate. Hey, has anyone checked in on Christina Bennett lately? I tried calling her after her big promo, but nothing. Cap, if you see this, let me know you're okay. Seems like you're going through something. No kidding. Don't think we're done, Christina, but it not by a long shot. <laughs> Regal with the eye emoji. That's funny. That is funny. Okay, so we're still in this is why brutality. And we gotta go to NXT next. Uh, but I think uh, we're actually gonna try to wrap up this episode right now. Uh, just because I feel like we accomplished a lot this episode. And I feel like NXT kind of needs a little bit of its own little, like little chunk here it'd be a good start it'd be a good starting point for the next episode too just going to a new show because we've already had a lot happen we really have we had the manifestation we had smackdown we had a triple threat match that just was going all over the place and we cut a very monotonous promo and we know that our girl can do better than this we know that she's capable of doing bigger and brighter things i like the attitude I, she's got the right ingredients, but she needs to package it all together. And maybe this is where it's all culminating towards, right? So in the next episode, we're going to culminate things 
with uh, this is why brutality at NXT. And then we're going to see what storylines that we have to pick from after that and hopefully just continue onward and upward. So again, thank you all super much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you get notifications around here and that sort of thing. So again, thank you all super much for watching. At the time of recording this, we are en route to 1,000 subscribers, so I want to thank everybody for all love and support for the series, for this channel. Every little bit really means a lot to me. So again, thank you all for all love and support. It's truly meant the world, and I will see you all in the next one.